Where am I? Where did I go? Hello? <gasps> there I am! Whee! <laughs> hello, hello! I am just going to do a nice little bit of drawing today. I'm getting smaller, I'm shy. Don't look at me. <laughs> no, look at me. <laughs> I have never used Clip Studio Paint with the exception of last night I tried it so I could make a thumbnail for today. <laughs> I really like it so far, so I'm excited to use it some more. It's very lovely program with brushes that I can actually use and I can draw really fast. I'm not used to being able to draw things really fast in uh like like with fancy brushes and stuff. It's so reactive. I can just draw little smiley faces like wee so easy. Easy breezy beautiful cover girl. So I and I it's been so long since I've like painted anything. I used to paint um, like more than a decade ago and I really want to maybe sketch something fun out and, and paint it I think that would be nice listen to some really nice and calm head empty music yeah Let's have a really chill Saturday night I'm not quite sure what I am going to draw tonight. I would draw like fan art or something like that, but I don't know. I get kind of nervous about drawing other people's characters if I don't really know like even what style I'm going to be drawing in. Like it's gonna be messy and you know. Maybe we don't even draw anything particularly good. So, I just want to have fun. Learn new program. So far, it doesn't seem to be, like, all that complicated. It seems to be, like, oh, there's, like, certain hotkeys that I didn't realize I used a ton when I was working in Photoshop. Um... Like, making, uh layers that clip into like other layers uh i don't know how to do that i don't know how to make clipping layers yet <laughs> uh aside from like right clicking and going through a bunch of different things in photoshop it's as easy as like holding down the alt key but you it's not like that here so i'll have to find out all those little secrets and stuff Hello, Chuck. How are you doing? You going? You here to learn with me how to use Clip Studio Paint? I think you would like Clip Studio Paint. It seems to be like way more user friendly than Photoshop so far. Yes, I have water with me. I don't have tea today though, so I might have to do a BRB at some point to get tea. Oh, you, you, you already use Clip Studio. Well, then you can teach me. You can see that I have uh, added backseating aloud to this stream because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I think I'm going to probably use this program a ton. Because, like, I can draw as fast as I want to. Like, I can draw in, in Storyboard Pro. But I have like all these options to like paint cool stuff. It's great. So I was maybe gonna try to, to paint some stuff. It'll be fun. I haven't downloaded any like fancy crazy brushes or anything like that yet because I was just like baby steps 
Let's get into things slowly. And figure out how... Like, the main brushes work and stuff before I get into, like, really... Insane things. Also, I'm... Might, I might have said it before, but I forget... I don't know if I remembered to say it. I'm just listening to some good head empty Nintendo music. That's how I'm feeling tonight. Oh! Yes! This is a good head empty song. I think I want to do like a fun, like sassy pose. You know, I. I'm drawing out a pose, but I really shouldn't, because I should just sort of focus on, like, one, like, really small thing and, like, mess around. But, you know, just sort of go on where the inspiration takes me. Just, sometimes you gotta make some good sloppy art, you know? Just get sloppy with it. Who cares about, you know, getting fancy and f forms and I don't know, <laughs> proper shading techniques? Who cares? Just have fun. Welcome on in. Wanda, do you use Clip Studio Paint? Because I know you're an artist. No non-artist would use the eye emoji like that. <laughs> Just sort of gently erase this line that I could have had on a different layer. But we're not thinking too hard today. I kind of like want to do like a paint over, you know, where you just sort of like throw the sketch down and then you just go over it with a bunch of color. It just sounds like so much fun to me. I would like to say that I used to, like, paint so much when I was younger, but I only painted, like, a little. So much of that time was just spent sort of, like, scouring the internet for good, like, reference images and stuff. I don't want to- I don't want a piece hand. I don't want a piece hand. I want, like, a... One of these... You know, one of these- Whoa, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> One of those hands. I'll figure out what that looks like in a bit. Or maybe it's like one of these... It's like a s sort of fist. I'm gonna beat you up. I'm gonna beat you up. Come try me. My arms are huge. My claws are massive. They'll tear you apart.
just, you know, hand. Hand here. Not the most easy to read. Hmm. Hmm. I put in, uh, for the first time ever, I put in some skeb requests. And if you don't know what skeb is, it's a place where you can go and get, uh, art from Japanese artists. It's like a place that you can go just just a ton of people were, who are ready for commissions and you just send them the request and if they want it they the m money payment goes through and they draw it and the you know time goes by eventually you get some very cool nice art from somebody that doesn't even speak the same language as you. It's very cool. I was absolutely terrified. And I don't know why. I guess, like, I was- I, maybe I was just being anxious for no reason because I haven't been sleeping well, but, like, the whole time I was just like, oh no, like, what if it, like, gets, like, mistranslated and I'm, like, annoying these people? I'm like, who cares? Like, you're never gonna meet these people. Like, they don't- like, they probably deal with mistranslations, like, all the time. Uh, you know- it's just like a fun thing. And if they don't if they don't want to do it, they don't do it. So like why are you worrying about it? But I was worried and I don't think I've really ever commissioned I think I've done like I think I've commissioned people like twice in my whole life. I guess I since I'm an artist myself, like I don't know, support other artists, yeah, but I was just like if I want something drawn, I'll just go and draw it myself. So it wasn't really <laughs> a thing I ever really considered doing, like commissioning other people to draw things for me. Even now when I'm like, oh, I should, you know, m make my overlay more professional or something. Oh, hi, Aiko! <laughs> We're talking about art stuff. Um... I was like, oh, I should, you know, make my overlay more professional. And I'm like, you can pay somebody to do an overlay for you. Like, <laughs> you don't have to do it yourself. <laughs> oh, but yeah, Skeb is really cool. It's particularly hard to navigate um, when you uh, are a, a girl with a beautiful, large muzzle like myself. Because uh, there are, like... Artists out there, you know, a lot, there are, like, furry artists that you can commission from that will be able to draw it, but it's like, I don't know if any of these people could draw me. Most of them. Like, most of them are just drawing, like, the same kind of anime girl. Um, usually with, like, a very similar style. And I'm like, um, I don't know, I don't think they would want to draw me. So it was, like, dealing with that, but I, like, amassed, like, a really large collection of, uh, artists where I was like, I think they might be able to handle it, you know? And so far, so I sent out three requests, and so far, two of them have been accepted. So I'm like, yay! I'm gonna have some cool art! Not to mention the cool fan art that I got today from the lovely Nat. From the lovely Mr. Babadork. is such good art. If you haven't seen it, I will- I will share it right now. Let me go grab it off of Twitter. Valid to feel that way. Thank you. Thank you for calling me valid. Let's see, let's see. I can now. Whoop. Image. Look at the 
just cute art. That's me. Go cute. Go cute that is. So cute. <laughs> Look how fun the screen tones get when you zoom in and out. Maybe that's just me with OBS, but the screen tones like to go wild. <laughs> ah! I'm I'm like not used to like getting art from other people, and I'm just like I, it 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 makes me feel like like I don't know I can't even think about it. It's just so exciting to be like ah! <laughs> a gift. <gasps> Sprite cranberry. <laughs> Want a Sprite Cranberry? Can, can dogs drink Sprite Cranberry? Let me get you a Sprite Cranberry. Let me get you that Sprite Cranberry. Oh! It's over here. There you go. There's that Sprite Cranberry. Here, let me flip. <laughs> there you go! Sprite Cranberry! Well, come on in. Enjoy your Sprite Cranberry emote that you can share and hydrate others with. And, yeah. <laughs> yes! <laughs> your Crate Spranberry. Oh, and your cute little batty badge. Yeah, welcome to my Bat Bitch, my bat -bitch Battalion. <laughs> yes! <laughs> and that also reminded me, I list... Where, where advanced audio properties? I can't hear my alerts, and I fixed it. I should be able to hear them now. Good. So I kind of want to do. So I want to try and do like a paint over thing with this, but we'll see how. Like, it'd probably be kind of hard to read because it's pretty messy. Like, there's no. I don't want to do proper liner. I don't have time for that. I don't know about you. I don't have time for that. Free BZ manicure with every crate spranberry. Yes! <laughs> oh, bat! <laughs> the bog tasty! Drink up. Oh, thank you, Chuck. Let me hydrate with my, my, my crate spranberry. Delicious. It's what gives me my beautiful pink color. Mmm, this music though. Makes me want to catch some big beetles. Okay, I, I- I drew- I drew a thing. A basic idea of what I'm doing. We're on island time now. Speaking of island time... Speaking of island time, I've got something very special planned for next Saturday. Instead of doing art, as much as I love doing art, I want to unveil a new outfit that I have designed myself. It's gonna be really good, and it's gonna have special celebrity guests, and it's a really nice outfit. It's really nice. Do you want a sneak peek? I could give y'all a sneak peek. I was gonna show one on Thursday, but my stream went a little crazy. I could show you a little sneak peek. Close, close your eyes. And by close your eyes, I mean... I'm going to hide down here. Look away. Look away. What's this? Oh, hello? Oh, do oh, you see little sunglasses? Little sun sunglasses? Oh, don't look. The VTube studio thing. Let me click out of that. I always forget. <laughs> you ready? Take two. What's this? What's this? My cheeks are sunburnt. My sunglasses are cute. Look! I can put them on. 
and take them off. Yeah, I got a new necklace. Oh, what's this? Flame bathing suit. Okay, that's all you can see for now. That's sneak peek. <laughs> it's pretty good. I like the little sunglasses the best. And if I, I, I can, I can look at you from across the room. I go. <laughs> I can go. Who is that? <laughs> but I can also just put them up so you can see me. <gasps> lewd? Me? You calling me lewd? You're lewd. I'm just wearing. I'm just wearing a cute outfit. You're lewd for looking at it. <laughs> lewd and rude. This. Hey. I'm just, I'm just existing. I'm just being cute. <laughs> Super sneak peek. Yeah, okay. I will hide. I will hide. I will go back. I'll go back. I'll change into my my regular form. All right. I'm back in my regular form. <laughs> it's me! Oh wait, this isn't right. This is Milk Walker. Hold on, let me let me get changed. Let me get changed. Let me get changed. That's not it. That's not right. That's not right. <laughs> oh. 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 Wait, this isn't right either. <laughs> Let me do a little tap dance. Just vibe into the music, you know? Sometimes you gotta get jiggly. Milkwalker's always here. He's he, he's always just hanging out. He's there when you need him. Always. Gotta love the jelly. Look at him go. Wiggle, wiggle. Bounce around. Wow, this is a really good uh, model to wear to this kind of music. It just rules. Okay, 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 okay. Back back to business. Back to business. Serious, serious, busy. Get serious, busy. Stop messing around with the hollow deck, busy. The people came here to see you. Okay. Okay. No more. No more. I'm done. <laughs> there is no serious BZ. Correct. I'm always like this. I'm always on. <laughs> I think I'm gonna- I think I'm gonna draw- keep this like layer on top and just like... Make it lighter. So it's not really a proper paint over, but you know. I wanna see what I'm doing. Guess I'll mess with these brush tools. Oh, you know what? Let me let me load up a reference image. Oh, there I am. Just so I can steal the colors. Cuz I don't know about you. I have a habit of making myself especially purple. Do you think I'm red? Do you think I'm red or am I pink? I always thought I was pink. But more and more people, I think, think I am more red. Where, where is, where does, 
pink end and red begin. Aren't you blue? Oh no, I go. You poor little dog. <laughs> poor little dog with no colors, no color perception. I am the color of cranberry flowers. <laughs> Whatever color you think that is, Aiko. <laughs> Lux, you think I'm red, but, I, but you see everything in red. Lux, you also have color perception problems. Wanda, though, Wanda knows what I'm talking about. I am pink. Okay, good. I should just, I should just make this brush bigger. Why am I, why am I spending time making this, not making this brush bigger? There we go. <laughs> peanut butter color. <gasps> You're peanut butter color, Aiko. And I'm jelly color, strawberry jelly. <laughs> you are. Oh, that's the hair. That doesn't make any sense. I can't be that color. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so I was so excited to be able to get um some commissions and I've also recently found some artists on Twitter that I want to commission as well. But you know, I said to myself, I says to myself, I says, um calm down. <laughs> I have not started my first uh, day of work yet, so I should not <laughs> be spending my money like it's an end, like an endless resource. Like I have a uh, proper disposable income. When you put down three skebs, it's like you know a hundred dollars each. That's big money, and and like you know support artists. I give them a little bit extra. But, it's like, there's half of my tax return. <laughs> also, the bat icon is so cute. Love seeing that on people. Thank you! I made them myself. I love them and their funny little big ears. Their little big ears. <laughs> I made them myself, and then there are little batty wings for the bit badges. Oh! A hydrate. Thank you for reminding me. Little baddie babies. Little baddie babies. We're all baddie here. Hi, Rumi. Thank you for that hydrate. I think I also... I think I also updated my redeems a little bit. So I added, like, the emote ones in. So if, if y'all don't have uh emotes or if you don't like i have a tier two emote i have not finished my tier three one yet i will eventually uh <laughs> um but you can unlock that funny little baddie that i made a tier two emote i think i think that's how it works <laughs> but yeah Art is a funny thing. And it, I don't know, it's just... It's, it's so funny to me how commissioning people felt like such like a, a personal thing. And I was like, maybe I should have like dipped my toes in with like commissioning artists that like I can answer questions that they might have or something. But... I don't know, I don't even know what commission- like what questions people would have. <laughs> Redeems can only be used for tier 1, but you might be wrong. Ah, that might be possible. But either way, my, my tier 1 subs can at least unlock, maybe eventually, that tier 2 emote. It, that baddie might end up being a tier 1 emote at some point anyways. I still need to add, um... I have flair designed for the, for the little baddie badge. For if people decide to go tier 2 or tier 3. Um, I have 
a uh, sunglasses and I have a crown. It won't let you unlock the tier two. Oh, I'm so sorry. Commissioning is scary sometimes, not gonna lie. You you are in probably the same exact boat as me, Rumi, where it's like, I this is a very specific kind of character design that is not, like, you don't know if people are going to draw you. I got clip! Thank you! It's really nice! I'm not used to being able to work in color with, like, the different, like, textured brushes and stuff. It's... I definitely, um... The one thing I was worried about with Clue Studio Paint was just, like, sort of how fast it could... Like, I could draw in it, and it's like, oh, no, this is great. You've gotten scammed out of $90? No! I'm so sorry. I've only ever done... Well, that's not true. Okay, so I did do commissions back on the Gaia Online days, where I just sort of drew people's avatars for, uh, digital currency. Um, but I've mostly only ever drawn things for friends. So, I, I definitely have commissions that I've been sitting on for a very long time that I need to do. And, you know, maybe it'll be a fun stream. To get them off of my conscience and just draw this art that I had been, uh, that I never actually forgot about, but I'm sure people thought that I did. <laughs> I try not to think of how many cons my wife tried to get that never uh, got, got. It's probably a scary amount of money. Yeah, like, I totally would imagine that, yeah. Guy online, I had the edgiest avatar I could with my free-to-play account, wow. Well, I agreed to a no returns ever TOS even though I was uneasy. I, I, I've like never really commissioned people before and so I see people like, I, I've looked at people's commission stuff for my own sake. Like, oh, you know, thinking about wanting to open up commissions. I, like, I particularly really like working in live 2D and so like, even if I want to make just like joke, uh, models and stuff like that for people. I'm like, I, I would like to be able to let people know that I do that. So I was like, let me look at what the terms of service for these things look like. And I was just like, this can get so complex. Like, people can get really very, like, lawyery with it, which is good. I was just like, wow. I usually send my invoices after I hand the drawing in because I get so nervous about people feeling scammed. I think I like when it's half and half. The, like, that's what I like the most. From, like, my own perspective as an artist, and also just, like, for... Just thinking about the other people uh, involved. Like, especially if you're spending a lot of money. If you're putting, like, a lot of money down. Like, uh, I know how people... People commission models, and they're in, like, hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Hundreds and thousands. And it's like, that. that is something where it's like, I, I would split the cost on that. Because it's, like, that's just so much money to put down. But, I mean, there are some artists that, they like, get to a certain point where it's, like, you know they're going to finish their work. Like, there are some really prolific artists, I think, within, like, the VTuber community that are, like, so sought after that I don't think they really need to do that. But last two commissions I did, the artist did the whole thing before asking for payment. <laughs> and you got super lucky with your mama. Um... I think I, I used to do it that I would do the art and then I would ask for the money. Um, it's only now as an an, an older and wiser uh, cryptid that I am like, that was stupid. <laughs> the digital marketplace for art is is a is a fascinating and sometimes terrifying thing. Also, Rumi, I don't even know how you went about finding like someone who could do a model like yours. Because when I wanted to, you know, show the world myself and I made myself in Live 2D, it was like I I knew what I wanted and I wanted something that was super unique and I knew that other people couldn't do for me. Like, I don't- I couldn't think of a single person I would trust to get what I wanted out. And I'm still, like, that thinking about 
doing like a 3D model, I'm like, I, I don't know who I would go to. <laughs> You're crazy tired right now, so you might be out of it. Hey, I'm me and you both, bud. <laughs> and this is normal hours for me. I am, I am a night owl. For sure, I am a creature of the night. But I have oh my sleep my sleep schedule has not been kind to me. Oh, you met on the live two D Discord server. That makes sense. That okay. I didn't think about that because I guess you can go on live two D and like go into that channel that's like I'm requesting something in particular. Like I'm like looking for people who can do this style of avatar, and then they just can contact you. You did a 12-hour marathon today? Oh my gosh! I, m I missed it? Oh! Oh! Goodness, no wonder that you're sleepy. Congrats on that, though. That is not an easy thing to do. I had a busy day today filled with uh, actually doing some laundry. Because I always wait too long to do my laundry. And I ate some good food. Time zones. Yeah. Time zones don't make any sense. If you talk to anybody that knows me, you'll find out very quickly that um, I, I'm i smart in a lot of regards. Um, and time is like a, a big blip on my radar. I don't- time zones, I'm like, they're like, oh, in this area, it's- it's this time, and the moment that you start talking about, like, planes crossing over different time zones, and you're in the air, so it, it's totally- I don't know, and how China has the same time zone, but they just- it's different time in different places. You go into Alaska, and it's, like, bright during the day, and then at, like, uh, it's, like, bright at 2 a.m., and stuff like that. Like, oh my gosh, my brain hurts. Uh... You got 10 average and your second emote slot. Nice! That's so good! I'm so happy to hear that. Growth is good. Growth is very good. Time zones are super wacky. So, it, one especially uh, small brain moment of me is, uh, Rumi, you, you list your times on your schedule as, I think, like, EDT, which is Eastern Daylight Time, right? And I saw that, and I was just like, what does that mean? What is EDT? I'm like, is that EST, but different? And I was like, does that mean, like, EST, but for the times of years... Uh, like, the, the states where they don't actually do daylight savings. Are we on daylight savings right now? My brain just like, oh, it's broken. New goal is to grind to 12 average. EDT and GMT. And GMT is... Like, London? Is that London? <laughs> East Coast Daylight. Okay, but, like, America is, like, so messed up because there is, like, some some cities and some states don't just come flat out ignore daylight savings time. There's, like, no consistency to it. It is, like, absolute nonsense. It's completely made up. Uh, daylight savings, they just sort of move it around time-wise wherever they want it. People, literally, the history of daylight savings... Uh, I, I forget, like, what decade it was, but in, in the recent decade, candy companies literally lobbied the United States government by, like, giving them candy on their seats. They would give them, they would put little Hershey Kisses on their seat or whatever to try and convince them to move Daylight Savings after Halloween. Because they wanted an extra hour of candy time. And they did it! That's why Daylight Savings is after Halloween. It was before it before. I, th 
think we should all just have the same time. It's just a different, uh, like, like how people people use GMT, but they don't like really, you know. Um, but I I think that if we all had a consistent standard time, and it was just like, hey, guess what? It's you know 9 a.m. in uh you know whatever uh, San Francisco right now, and that means that it's you know the middle of the day, you know it's like it's like the like prime sunlight hours, you know. Like I think how that I think that's how China does it, where it's just like. You just- you just deal with it. it. Sounds like a great and fair trade. More candy time. I mean, it, I, I'm not complaining about the extra candy time. Yeah, I guess that's fair. I just find that incredibly funny. That the, 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 these rules, we just made them up. And they don't make any sense. There's, like, if you get into, like, really, like, detailed stuff, there's, like, islands in the Pacific that get even more insane. Because just sort of, like, where the, like, the timeline starts and ends is just entirely predicated on, like, who these different islands are doing trade with. So some of them go over, like, the, the prime meridian or whatever. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Your design is cute too, Rumi. We are similar, not quite furry, but muzzled friends. <laughs> um, oh, what was I saying? Well, yeah, there's like crazy time zones with, um, uh, the islands in the, in the Pacific because they just choose to ignore the like, prime meridian in terms of time and stuff like that. Because they do trade with somewhere and they don't want to, like, swap days, you know? So it's like, one... If the island right next to you is a day ahead, that doesn't make any sense. You want to get your model upgrade? Ooh! I wouldn't even in BZ's chat for 1.3 seconds and don't get recognized for being handsome. <gasps> Lonin, but you are handsome! Did you say- did you say hello? I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes my chat moves faster for my- than my brain. <gasps> A bleb redeem! <gasps> yes! Let's see, can I remember which one is the bleb? <gasps> ah! <laughs> oh, that was you saying hello. Good! Now you can enjoy the bleb. Skip right to complaining. Cut out the middleman. <laughs> okay, I'm tired of using fancy layers and stuff like that. I'm just gonna paint. Just gonna paint. I say that, and then immediately just start aggressively using the undo button. You know what else has layers? Ogres. Onions. Oh, you don't have expressions? That's one of the upgrades that you want? Yeah, expressions are fun. I don't have a lot myself. I could give myself more, but I, 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 I don't have like a stream deck or anything, and um, remembering to hit them, I was just like, nah, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> But, uh, I would- I think I would get more used to it with, like, a better setup for hitting the buttons, but because of how I have it, um, the- like, the number pad keys like to break things. They are very fond of just sort of being hotkeys in various art programs. Um, but I do have some expressions. I have got my blep, obviously. I also have a blush. And I have, uh, ah, tears. Ah, my mascara is running. 
Improved tail functionality. Ooh. There's probably a ton of cool stuff that you can do with your design. Tails are tails are a, a weird thing. Wait, can I can you see my tail? There it is! <laughs> I think I can kind of show it this way. No gritty's in the way. You need a blush so bad. <laughs> I also blush just when I'm smiling. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, and I also have my, my favorite uh, expression. Your tail is scary. You're, I feel like you're you're an angel, but I'm uh, I can be your angle or your devil. Y your design is like scarier in certain ways, and mine is like uh, cuter. But yeah, this is another expression that I can do. I could just rock out. It's good. And that's just one arm. You collab with Laura and he flirts too much. <laughs> I believe it. You love being scary. Angels are scary, dude. I'm I'm cute in in the deceptive way. Come here. Just, you know, just come here. You're looking cute. I'm not gonna drink your blood. No, not me. Not me. I'm not gonna drink your blood. Just come here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Lonan gets it. Lonan gets it. A thousand eye flesh rings radiating face melting fear. Correct. That's why I play the Binding of Isaac. <laughs> it, they understand it. Oh. <gasps> it up, Oopa. <laughs> I added that very recently. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> I did perp. He's not transparent like I wanted him to be, but he I still like him. It's a very good little cockroach. Skibi doo ba. That's the only bit redeem that I have. I want to add more very badly. I've been thinking about just like like funny things that I can do with uh channel point redeems and stuff like that. One of the ones I want to do is <laughs> You were expecting all that for five bits. Okay, maybe I'll upgrade them to a higher thing and for some We'll do some shorter ones, but hey, I'm just starting out. Anybody who gives me a little bit of uh, five cents, you know, I'll take it Here enjoy funny spinning cockroach You can get that you can get that for free on the internet, but you can get it for five cents here <laughs> But yeah, I was thinking about things I could do for, for channel point redeems that could be fun. And I was like, is there a way to get myself, like, content aware scaled <laughs> on on OBS? And I don't think the- I don't think I can. But I, it did give me better ideas uh, that I might be able to implement and I'm very excited about. Just going to essence of flame shirt. <laughs> yeah, I like I like bit make funny noise. So expect more bit redeems in the future.
This is so nice, though. This program rules. Like, just how, like, nicely, like, this just blends, like, super easily. And I can use different brushes. Fancy brushes. It's wonderful. And I haven't even, like, tried to do any shading or anything. You haven't messed around with unique alerts yet? It's, like, I... It's one of my favorite things about other streamers that I watch is just some of, like, the ridiculousness that, um, chat will get up to with, like, different crazy bit redeems and stuff like that. You got a cute gift, though. I would at some point, I think I would like to make it so, like, um, more of, more of my things have cute little personal reactions and stuff like that. Um, like, at least for, like, follower alerts and stuff. But, I think it's fair to say, like, bits are for memes. Makes me think of, like, um, the, 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 the Southern California Renaissance Fair. The, the ladies there, when you give them a, a tip after you buy your turkey leg, they have little, um, squeakers in, in their, um, shirts. Their shirts. And <laughs> if you give them a tip, they just start squeaking them aggressively. And they yell really loud. <laughs> and that's what I want. <laughs> so the, the, the internet equivalent of that is playing funny spinning cockroach gif. <laughs> yeah, though, I mean... It's probably entirely specific to the SoCal Renaissance Fairs, but the concept is not entirely foreign. <laughs> it's very weird. <laughs> and I'm always like, please no, I just want to I just want to give you a tip just because like I have extra quarters like <laughs> I don't need all these quarters. Oh, oh, it's the end of the music. It's the end of the music. I thought maybe it was just bugged for a second, but let's see. More head empty music, please. And thank you. No thoughts head emptier. Oh, look at that. I'm getting an ad for Adobe. As, <coughs> as I, uh, play this. There we go. Whoever made th this playlist is a genius. Uh, yeah, I'm listening to play playlist by Shadow at Noon, and there's I think they have like five of them at this point. There's like there's few thoughts head empty, fewer thoughts head emptier, fewest thoughts head emptiest, and I saw recently that was just like five like like just few thoughts head empty five oh they stream too that's awesome i think i just like saw like ham drawing at some point ham pwned and i was like um uh and she was listening to few thoughts head empty but at like two times speed and it was like oh my gosh my head is so empty from this. Oh. First program lag. Oh, that make that reminds me. I should save. Save. In the is fewest thoughts head empty is just the muffled sound of the home shopping network playing in another room. I mean it should be. I like how the the file name that this automatically gives me is just illustration. I don't know about y'all, but the way that I name things, because I'm bad at coming up with ideas of what to name things, I just name everything by the date. I always do year, month, day, and then I'm just that I can just sort of go through my art by the date. 
I think that's just sort of like a leftover from like growing up using a Mac where it's just sort of everything's automatically set up that you can see what you're looking at all the time where on Windows it's more likely to show up in a list and not make any sense. Sometimes it's like that. <laughs> Did you know that wet Oreos? Don't do that. Well, I mean, if they're if they're wet because of milk, that's pretty good. Do you know that they made uh, gluten-free Oreos? They're pretty good, actually. You forgot you did art today. It was so long ago. I. I draw a, a lot, and a lot of the times that I draw, I completely forget. Now here's the question. Here's the question. Do I want to shade with a multiply layer or just with some paint? <laughs> yeah, you gotta tell me about the wet Oreos. <laughs> Oh, Rumi, I'm the absolute worst of that because I'll draw something on stream and I'll be like, okay, I'm going to post this tomorrow at normal hours and I either forget or I get really shy about how it looks and I'm like, oh, this isn't like how I wanted it to be. Like, oh. Lay layer. Clip to layer below. Cool. <laughs> I just did. You can't stop me. You know what? You're right. You can't draw. Everyone can draw. Everyone can draw a little bit. What I can't do with art is keep a consistent style. I just sort of... Go off the rails every single time when I draw myself... It's a com not a completely different character. I have pretty defining features, but like staying on model? Nope, couldn't be me. You just make vapor edits? That's cool. You're that reminds me to oh, yeah, I should hydrate. <laughs> I like set up my um my desktop wallpaper recently to be like a cool like vapor wavy kind of background uh with like this this was it wallpaper engine on Steam and it was really cool and then um I I keep forgetting to like boot it up and actually look at the pretty background. Because, I don't know, I, I just sort of see, like, Steam try to auto-open all the time, and I'm like, go away. Stop that. <laughs> it was all- it was all very pink backgrounds. Vaporwave is cool because it gets very pink. Pinks and blues. Hmm. I think I am going to do that different. I'm actually going to do the same thing here. It's like I just want to draw some shadowy things. Change this to multiply. Yeah, okay. Now I just need to not use a super massive brush. Then I can do what I want. Cool. Ugh, need to do the... Ah. Uh, layer settings, clip the layer below. Ooh. 
I'm gonna make this layer a bit lighter. Makes art for 100 followers, doesn't finish till 160. I mean, mood. Even coming from an artist myself. Sketch is adorable, by the way. Thank you! I just made it harder to see. <laughs> I want to try and, like, paint it. Even if it doesn't come out all that good. I want to, like, mess around with, like, shadows and stuff. Because, like, I, ha I haven't painted anything in so long. And it's so fun to, like, get, like, values in and stuff. And just, like, especially with this, where you can just sort of, like, throw them in, like, really quick. It's awesome. And then, like, you can blend them if it's, like, too much. I just, it's so exciting. It's a good pose, though. It's very, I'm gonna beat you up. Meet me at the playground. 10 p.m. for a beating. Okay, I should add some detail -y stuff. Uh, I guess I'll add it here. Heckin' cutie. Oh, I'm a cutie. <laughs> You're on your way. <laughs> I'll actually be drawing tonight, so we'll have to schedule a rain check. <laughs> There's no log as smelling other people's food in restaurants. How do you not have social anxiety? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Like, you're right, yes. But also... People scary. People scary, I'm shy. I used to be afraid of getting my food from the lunch lady. You think I can just go up to somebody else and sniff their food? Social anxiety is being afraid someone will smell your food. <laughs> Lone is speaking from experience. Oh no! Yeah, can I just get a whiff of that? Mm, yeah, fajitas. Alright, 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 alright. Uh, I added this extra layer here so I do some details. Social anxiety is not complaining when someone else gives you olives, the devil's fruit, and your delicious Subway sandwich. You smell other people's food if it's very strong smell. Oh, like when people make fish in the microwave? <laughs> I'm oh, I always had a really bad sense of smell. Really bad. I'm always terrified that I'm really smelly. <laughs> and everyone's like, no, BZ, you're not smelly. You're not at all smelly. You're fine. Uh, and I'm like, but what if secretly I am? For the longest time, I just, like, I don't know, I just had a really bad time discerning smells. You really smell- I'm not smelly, Lux! I know you're lying to me! It's a good smell, so you're fine. Okay, you turned it around. I think more than anything, I smell like, um, I smell like tea tree. Because I use tea tree shampoo. Why is my layer not showing up? Oh, I'm using the blender. Haha! <laughs> this is why I'm learning. Sulfur smell because Jersey Devil. That would be pretty cool, huh? Uh. Oh, that's right. That's what I was doing. Adding. Eyes. Gotta add. Mm. 
that eyeliner. We can just sort of taper it. Yeah, that yummy brimstone smell. You think I could drink lava? I think there's a lot of demons out there that can probably drink lava. But I don't know if I'm one of them, and I can only try it once. <laughs> drink lava once. I don't know if other people have this reflex, but when I see, like, a beautiful image of, like, like you know, like, 4K video footage of, um, of, like, lava moving slowly and beautifully. I'm like, oh, I want to stick my hands in that. I want to stick my hands in that so bad. <laughs> and I'm like, that's not the, like, proper reaction to have. It is the one I have, though. I think I'll just make the pupils black. Because I don't feel like making them particularly fancy. My pupils are brown, but... Okay, fine, I'll make them brown. I'll stop being lazy. I'll give them the treatment they deserve. No idea what music this is from, but it's I like it a lot. Oof, you're hurting right now. You can go sleep. Go sleep, Rumi. Yeah, go have some sleep. You just you deserve some hard-earned rest. It's no good to run yourself too tired. Sleep is good. Where did I put that purple that I was using? I think the way that multiply layers work in this program, are, it's different than it is in Photoshop for sure. But that's... I'm just learning, you know? We're Night Owl streamers. Yeah, absolutely. We are... Late sleepers. As much as I would like to stream earlier in the day, can't do it. Okay, I think for I think for painting this, I I think I'm just gonna just straight up paint the colors instead of doing my multiply layer thing that I normally do, like I got used to in Photoshop. Can I lock this layer? Can I lock? How do I lock layers? How do I... La layer settings? Lock transparent pixels. Yeah! That's what I want. Is this the same color that I have here? Oh no, I'm using the blender again. I'm gonna do that every time. I'm like, why isn't my brush working? It's because you're not using a brush that puts color down.
Ooh. Now it's starting to slow down. This program. Oh, gotta go sleep. Sleepy times for you. Yeah, thanks for hanging out, Wanda. Hope you have a good night's sleep. Might not be anything fancy when it's done, but I'm excited to show it off regardless. And thanks for hanging out with the time that you had. Oh, I should draw eyebrows. Those are important, right? I should do that on this, like, detail layer that I have. Uh, let me make smaller brush. Oh, look at that. I recognize this song, but I can't place it. Oh. What is this song? I'm gonna have to check. Oh, it's from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. It's Eterna City. I probably spent a lot of time there in game. Mm. That nose looks cute, but it, I don't think it's the right color. It's this inner wing color. That's the color of my nose. Oh great, now I'm not gonna be able to draw it the way I want it. There we go. Yay! Let's draw some teeth. Maybe bottom teeth, maybe not. <laughs> Brush. I like how everything is divided up with the brushes and pens and stuff. It's so useful. Oh, it's the same color back there. Ooh. It's blending into a weird color. There we go. In doubt of what I want to draw though, I'm just like, yeah, just draw myself. Just draw me. I'm cute. Uh, this color for the lips. Okay, this is going to be annoying, so I'm just going to put it on a new layer. Speaking of mouths, I have plans to redo my Live 2D mouth. Because right now, the way that I have it is not suitable for adding the new crazy mouth X feature that I very much want to add in. 
So I've like made myself like a special mouth chart and everything to just redo it and make it look extra pretty. <gasps> it's the song. Wow. Oh, I should add some like gradient for the horns, of course. It's like it's missing something. Um I don't know if you've noticed, but the tips of my horns are extra red. Extra bloody. And the same thing for my hands. Ooh, that's so nice though. Brush strokes. Imagine! What a concept! Oh! Being able to use brush strokes is so nice. Color these. Uh, layer settings. Lock transparent pixels. And I'm just gonna, just gonna... I want the shadows to be more purple. I think. I don't know. I don't know what I want. Who really knows what they want in this world? I want it to just be a little bit more, more vibrant than that. Keep it like really messy. I think I'll make a smaller brush would be good too. Sort of add, look at, make it look a bit more like hair. That's too small of a brush. Mm. Brain off, not gonna worry too much about proper shadow technique or whatever. Just having fun here. I'm just gonna blend. And come back in with more details later, maybe. Oh. Stretch! Oh, it's time to hear the pop snap, crackle, pops! Whoa! Yow! Listen to all those bones! I think I got them all. Wait. Oh, I should do a hand stretch, actually. My hand's kind of cramping up a little bit. Yeah, it's a good hand stretch. That's a good hand stretch. Yeah, the crunch! Crunchitize me, Captain. It 
it's important to stretch. These you want to drink? Do I want to drink? Could you give me some tea? Yeah. Thank you. Lux is so kind to me. Except when he's not kind to me and he bullies me. He bullies me because I make him get me tea and stuff. Little moth slave. Don't tell him I said that. He's not looking right now. <laughs> He'll just draw me his scrappy do again. Yeah, add some. Let's add some. Let's add some highlight. Highlight stuff. Um. I guess warmer highlights if we're gonna go that way. Hmm. What color? What color? Should be a little bit more light and a little bit. Yeah. I don't think you're gonna get much difference out of this. <laughs> I'm so excited to get some some skebs though. It's just like everybody likes really nice art. I want to be able to, to share that with other people. I can make it myself, but only so fast. Especially trying to learn new programs and stuff. I, I really want to be able to get like better at like doing shading and stuff. Like get really good at like painting again. I think it'd be so nice. You know, maybe that's what my art streams end up becoming. Just sort of, like, practice sessions for painting. Where I actually pull up, like, legitimate references and stuff like that and not just sort of go wild. But for now, like, this is fun. Where did I put... Where did I put... There it is. This hair layer. I need to lock this one, this layer as well. Lock transparent pixels. This part will be easier to... Add some quick color to some quick highlights. Art is so fun. If you don't think art is fun, you're doing it wrong. Well, art can be not fun. But if you ever stop having fun with it, Try something else. Going wild with drawing is so much fun. It is. I think having a good balance is good. You know? You want to go a little bit crazy. But like, there's a certain point where you're like, <laughs> why doesn't this like skin or the shading look right? You know? And it's like, I guess I got to pull up a reference for that. I want to ultimately what I would like to be able to do is like get really good at painting so I can make um, a 3D model that has really nice textures. Because I think that's like the most important thing when I look at uh, like VTubers with 3D models is I notice the textures more than anything. 
And, and really that just comes down to, like, knowing somebody that has, like, a really good sense of, uh, like, color and texture and just painting style. I want to add some more shadows on the face. I'm definitely going to have to like stretch my hands more if I'm going to continue using Clip Studio Paint though, because I find myself like really moving my wrist around a lot. In a way where I'm like, oh yeah, I should like really be stretching it. I'm really excited to like get more used to this program and then like sort of have like learn my own methods for how I like to paint. I think I want like an even darker color. More dark, more purple. Let's carve out that. Oh, you know what? I'm missing my necklace. Just quickly add that in. Yeah, that's a fine enough layer for it. Important. Uh, oh yeah, Let's add some lighting. Go more warm, go lighter. I think that do now? I just threw some fun colors down. Oh, I should add some shading to the shirt. I think I will make another layer just so I can adapt it a lot more. Um, steal this color. Oh, once again, I'm starting with the blender selected. Sort of cleaning up some edges and stuff. Oh. Tea time! Tea time. Tea time! Thank you! Is it still hot? Oh, that's hot. Oh boy. We have to wait on that one. Uh, oh. Yeah. Make this warmer. And I guess less saturated. That might be too much, but who cares? We're all having fun here. Mod Lux is back. Nobody posted cringe. Nobody but me. Add some of this as well. Go this way. Go warmer. Just make it a little bit lighter. Ooh, look over here. Maybe over here as well. Get a bounce light. Yeah, that's so cute. That's so nice. I'm gonna blend it a little bit. <laughs> 
it's allowed and expected what for me to post cringe I am cringe supreme oh I should add some shadows as well I'll just steal this color make it darker and more saturated and cooler Oh, once again, I have the blender selected. Ooh, some shading. Look at that. Some shading. Ooh. Oh, I guess I shouldn't use it there. Um. I think I need more this for the shading. Uh, darker, more saturated, cooler. Wait a minute, it's too saturated. That's better. It's not all that dark, though. Pretty satisfied with that for just a fun time drawing. We'll try to draw some fancy line art on top of it or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave it and do a new one. sketch and we'll see how I feel in a second let's see can I group these layers layer selection from layer oh there's a little folder I can add these all to the folder. Yay, I'm learning! Oh, I have to make a new layer, of course. I was like, why does that not come out the right color? The eyelashes are a very important part of the design.
I'm drawing too fast. It's taking all of my lines when I'm done with them. I only want them to take a few. Don't take all of my lines, sir. I need some of those. Hmm. Art is hard. My- I find that the hardest thing with art is making decisions. Even if I'm doing something silly like this where I'm not, really, like, really focusing terribly hard about what I'm doing. I'm just like... Well, that- do I like the way that looks? Do I not? I don't know. Should I use a different kind of layer? Should I put a- you know, should I change the hue a little bit? Like... It makes me feel insane. Okay, this could be like a cute thing though. Nothing fancy. Could just be a cute little head. No, I, we don't have to see the other ear. Is there room for the other horn? There is. I think what I want to do with this one is I want to like draw some line art and then fill it in with color and then work from there. So more of a cartoony thing. Because I had only really been messing around with painting when I messed around for my thumbnail for it last night. I didn't really try anything with a sort of more line art stuff in this. Like I know that this program is like really popular for people who are making like uh, comics. So, uh, I know it's really good for toony stuff. That's cute. And that cute. When I put in my skeb requests for the ones that I ordered, I was like, okay, I have to like <laughs> describe myself. And I was like, um, like, what words do you pick, like, you know, to describe yourself? It's really hard. And the words I ended up going with were... Cheerful. Mischievous. And rude. Because <laughs> even if I'm not rude in, like, the mean way... Not the most uh, polite streamer out there, I don't think. It's 
So I wasn't gonna go and like describe myself as like a tsundere or something like that because I'm not one. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't think they have a trope for me. It was very funny though. I was thinking I was like, oh, how do I like convey the concept of a Jersey Devil to like in a language and a culture that is so far removed from that specific thing. And then I was like, well, I could just say monster. <laughs> Everybody knows what a monster is. At first I was kind of like, uh, cryptid, and then I was like, mm, that's- even that's a bit weird of a word. And then I was like, monster. I was like, yeah! I'm a little monster. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, this is reminding me I really want to get an automaton very badly. This song I think would be fun to play on an automaton. I want to get a cute one though, like I want to get like a pink one or something. Ever since I got job, I was like, oh my god, I can just, like, spend my money. <laughs> my pockets have been fireproof for so long, and now it's just, like, everything, everything. I want things. Pin clubs and scabs. It's nice. Before, I was just sort of, like... Okay, I only spend money on food. And now I can spend money on other thing. Okay, I think... Hmm... I think I want this to be like that. Yeah, that's cute! I'm so cute! Gotta add the little tooth. Two teeth, one teeth. One teeth. <laughs> One teeth, two tooth. Has it- has it really been two hours? Oh my goodness. I got lost in the sauce there. love the way these brushes look. You know, not to be all, you know, what brushes do you use, but like, wow, working with something that has like a little bit of texture and isn't just like the default Photoshop hard round brush, it's nice. Going to add another layer just so I can draw this back ponytail. But not before I erase a little bit of this line. Oh! 
hit my foot. I have like a little um, coffee table thing. It's a really small, I make, I don't even know what to call it, just like a side table set up underneath my desk so I can uh, rest my legs when I'm sitting at my desk for so long. It's really nice. I highly recommend it to everybody. Get yourself a little foot rest. Your life will be changed forever. Standing desks, who? No, just get yourself a box and put your feet on it. It's the best. Okay. I am going to take a very quick break. Enjoy my enjoy the head empty music. Uh I'll just be right back. I'm not drawing on a very large file, am I? I hadn't considered that. I just sort of like went with whatever the default was, I think. Which apparently is pretty small. So maybe it'll run a bit more funky if I'm like in a really big file or something.
Let's see. Can I just like... Yeah, I can grab all of that. Can I... Oh! I don't know what that did. Now this is the tricky part. I have no idea how to invert this selection. I want to. I saved. How do I invert my selection? Oh, select? Invert selected area. Oh, I did it. Um. Oh, got a little box. A helpful little box here. Shrink. Shrink selected area. Um, two. Two was too much. Just one. Uh, where did it go? Where did it go? Shrink selected area. One. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Now I can... Grab that, and then... Fill it... With the, with the quick color. Right? Uh, I don't know where anything- Oh! There is a paint bucket! Oh, okay, good. It, was, it looks to see- It looks to me like there's a bunch of different ways to sort of do that. And that's great. But I look at it and I'm like, um, I don't, uh, what is, uh, is this, huh? <laughs> yeah. But now I have this back layer. And I can make a, a new layer and clip it to the one below. Just draw on top of it, and then I don't go outside the lines. And I'm sure I can just like... Let's see, let's see, let's learn. Let's learn something new. Refer other layers. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> Clip Studio Paint, you shouldn't have. <gasps> oh my god. Photoshop, they came and they stole your girl. It's me, I'm the girl. I'm st I was stolen, I'm not going back. You were never nice to me, Photoshop. Not once. And look what I can do. Look what I can do now. I just have to sort of clean up these edges here. Wow! Wow! Oh, I guess I don't need the sketch layer anymore. Layer below. 
This is the bop. This is the biggest bop. Oh my god, I, I just clicked back over to the <laughs> to the video and um I did not know, but they've been zooming in on Toad's face this entire time, and so his head is just huge. On my screen. We're almost done with the second album. Okay, let's see. Do I want to try messing around with multiply layers? Because I definitely could. Let's see. Oh, I don't want to use the pen entirely. I want to try maybe using one of these markers. I'm into it. Marker pen. I'm just looking for stuff with texture. Maybe I'll just use the gouache one again because it's nice. I like it. Oil paint. I have to definitely make it a smaller brush, though. <laughs> Honk. Basic sort of cell shaded approach to this one compared to the last one. I'll just shade it exactly how my hair looks, really. I really want to watch some new shows. I can't- I don't know what is good out there to watch right now. Aside from everything that I've already watched. I feel like it's weird you- at a certain point you kind of reach the end of the internet. That doesn't make any sense, but like, w we've been in quarantine for, you know, a year now. Only just sort of coming to the end of it. And like, I've reached the end of the internet. Just sort of re-watching old stuff and old memes and... Going back in time and watch what we're like rewatching, like Breaking Bad. What year is it? Oh, this is the last song on the album. I've never played Pikmin. This is from Pikmin, apparently. Maybe I'm just a nerd. It's good background noise at the very least. It is. It would be nice if it wasn't highly illegal to just like watch stuff while you stream something like this. I think you could kind of get away with it on like Picarto. I've had friends just sort of watch whatever they want on Picarto. And just sort of go crazy. Oh, I should add some shading here, maybe? I, both of you know more Star Trek than me, though. If you had to guess, like, out of all of all of Star Trek, if I watched all of Star Trek, who do you think my favorite character would be, coming out of all of them? Because... 
Because Lux and Pat, you know me pretty well. Who's my favorite in Voyager currently? Tuvok? Tuvok is so funny. I mean, like, the Vulcans in general are so funny. They're just, they're, like, when they stutter at people being emotional and stuff like that. Like, who can't love that? Oh, it'd also be down with Spock. I mean, Spock is great. Yeah. Spock is, like, the OG. And I like, I, I've seen, uh, I guess my first exposure to Star Trek was the reboot movies. Worf is pretty similar to Tuvok in a different way. He's just, like, sort of, like, the... Like, the, the cultural, um, oh gosh, what's the word for that? Like, when you, the culture shock? I love alien culture shock. It's so funny. Odo, too, but I feel like you'd be too bugged with the way he looks. I've seen Odo. I've seen y'all watched, uh, is it Deep Space Nine with Odo? Right? Yeah. yeah. I've seen Odo. He seems cool. I think I would get used to it. Unlike how I am with, um, Neelix in Voyager, where Neelix is just sort of, like, I'm like, I hate this weird rat man, and I don't want to look at him ever. <laughs> he annoys me. He annoys Tuvok. I don't want him here. Probably like Quark more than Neelix, too. Which one is Quark? Help me. I, I know the name Quark. I can't, like, imagine the... the... Oh! Um... Like, cute and a little bitch kind of way. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> like, I'd, like, begrudgingly be like, oh my god, this guy. Q is the guy who's in bed with, um, with the one guy, with Picard? In that one out-of-context shot, right? Yeah! <laughs> That's, yeah. I don't know him, but, like, I... Can imagine, yeah. He shows up in Voyager too, doesn't he? I think that's what y'all keep telling me. Oh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I kind of want to, like, finish up this, like, cute little drawing that I have here. Maybe get some food and, like, watch some funny food videos. Funny food videos. Just some good, f fun food videos. Better frame of reference for you, he's literally Discord for My Little Pony. Oh my god! <gasps> Are you telling me that's the- is it the same voice actor? Or is it like, just, they were like, we're gonna make a- oh my god. He, he's the guy who made the My Little Pony, like, documentary too, right? Who, like, is not well regarded because of it? Because <laughs> everyone was- because his whole documentary was like, ponies, weird. That makes a lot of sense. Not that I really like the character Discord in My Little Pony. Uh, I, I could see myself liking a character like that in Star Trek. I think Discord is a pretty funny character in, in My Little Pony of the episodes that I had seen with him. I think just that character sort of got distorted with, like, the, the Tumblr sexy man bet- the Tumblr sexy man, Ray. You know? This just sort of got, like, an online following around him that, um, was a bit... Eh, you know? <laughs> it just kind of left a weird... taste in the mouth of, like, hmm... Oh yeah, well, Data's great. Like, Data, all I know about Data, he's got a cat, and he doesn't understand the cat. And I'm like, that's wonderful. That's so good. Which, um... Which captain is it that gets really mad about the music? And yells at the computer to turn the music down? Is it Picard? It's like, it goes into like a room and it's like blasting like edgy teen rock music and he's just like, TURN THAT DOWN! And he gets so mad. I think it's Picard. I've seen bits and pieces just from around the internet. 
it's so funny watching Star Trek and, like, seeing a bit that, like, is a meme. And then you're like, oh, that's what that's from! I'm gonna add some. Some red. The punk bus and the whale movie. The whale movie was so good! The whale movie was so good and funny. I loved that movie. I... I want all of the Star Trek movies to be like that. Or probably early next generation, because I remember watching the episode forever ago. Okay. I'm not insane. Good. Okay, okay. Time to take all this color here. Let's see if this works. Multiply! Yay! Okay. That's more like what I'm used to in Photoshop. Nice. Okay. Nice. Jason. Oh, I, I also I was I remembered uh in Tuvok is not my favorite. Tuvok is not my favorite character in Voyager. It's the doctor. The doctor is so good. <laughs> He's funny and I like him. kind of want to fix this line art right here. Uh, pen. Let's go back to the pen. <laughs> Fair, the Doctor is the best in Voyager. He is the best! I like when they made him all tiny, because his... Uh, all of his stuff got messed up. All of his programming got messed up and nobody cared, and he was just sitting there like the short Keanu Reeves. So good. Little baby man doctor, yeah, little baby man. Little baby man. Uh, this is the hair layer. Yes, it is. Let me go back to this multiply layer. Just sort of add in that chunk of dark. Okay. We bought up. Ba ba da ba. Ba 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 da ba. Ba 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 da ba. Ba 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 ba. Oh, I was like sitting here, like what? What am I forgetting? I went to add some shiny. Oh, and I can do like the literal opposite color on this because it's got a nice little color wheel. Wow! Isn't that nice? Cool. Oh, let's use the marker at least. Oop. Add some cute little hair shinies. Do do do. I'm really 
interested in watching some more videos of uh, people's, like, um, tutorial, like, not tutorials, but just, like, progress videos of how they, like, render stuff. Because, like, this has always been my cheap and dirty method of just, like, multiply layer for the shadow and then screen layer for the highlights. And look at that! Comes to life! I think I could make it darker, but... Or not darker. Like, l less opaque if I wanted, but... Ooh, maybe I'll color the line art. Oh, I haven't added any, like, shines to the face. I was just so focused on the hair. Little eye shines. And... Yeah, maybe I'll just add some, like, some subtle shading. Like, blend it out. Just to try it, you know? Where is my blender? like it was never there. I think that screen looks really good on the hair, but it doesn't always look good on, like, the other things. It's a lot more finicky, for sure. Let's see. Maybe I can, like, Make the brush... What does brush density do? Not what I thought it would do. Huh. Um... Are there other blenders? Let's see, maybe I'll just like use a s smaller brush. Gives a little bit more control. I just like to add a little bit of, uh, dimension, you know? You know? You know! We haven't watched, uh, Star Trek in a while, though, I feel. It's been a good bit. But I think we- the last time we were there was the Weird Lizard episode, so I think we, we were like, let's take a break for a little bit. a little too green for me there. Like that a little bit more. You started stream, I've been super busy with work. We've all been so busy! Take Jadzia Dax on... Oh! The character on Deep Space Nine. I was like, what is that? Dax. What a cool name, Dax. 
What's he? What? Tell me more. Tell me more. See, let's see. The newest host of a parasitic worm, her people host in their bodies willingly. The one you see in- I've- I've not seen any of these- these worm trans memes. What? What? Huh? I don't doubt you, but- <laughs> Star Trek is crazy. A worm? I'm gonna color this line art. I'm gonna color this line art and there's nothing you can do to stop me. I'm gonna steal the color though, because it makes my life easier. Okay, let's... Lock transparent pixels! Captain Sisko's older, old general buddy and also a young new cadet because the worm and the person are different and also the same. I, I recently saw something where somebody was talking about um, Star Trek and how Star Trek, like, answers, the, answers moral questions that nobody asked. <laughs> Just because of, like, how out there sometimes it gets. Does this image link work? Let's find out. I would think it does. Oh, that's so sweet! That's such a sweet little meme. Oh, my beloved old friend. That's so good! To share with the class if I can. My desktop is always just filled with uh, images that I bring up during the stream. Look at that. That's so cute. Cruzon, my beloved old friend. I'm Jadzia now. Jadzia, my beloved old friend. Ah! Also did the first lesbian kiss in the Star Trek episode pulls at your heartstrings. Oh! Wow! The more you know. That's so wonderful. Oh, weren't y'all talking about a lesbian worm kiss? Like, today? Is that this? Yeah, that's her. It's- it all makes sense. It's all connected. Oh, not you, Pat, uh, but Lux was talking about it. Oh, this music. Oh, we got some guitar now? They fly now? The episode that image is from is from the same Deep Space Nine episode I've been in the middle of for months now. I don't blame you. Sometimes it takes a while to get through an, an episode of any show. Sometimes you put that stuff on two times speed and you get through it really quickly. And other times it's like, this is a lot to get through. I kind of want to unlock this layer real quick. Two worms in love! I love that. Brings a whole new meaning to oh worm. Uh, layer settings. Oh, transparent pixels.
Time to steal color. This. Yeah. That color is pretty similar. But it makes a difference. Also because she's having a recurring gag about her coworker Kira about her dating life. Asking her coworker Kira about her dating life encourages her to date all the super fun alien looking aliens. I would date all the super fun alien looking aliens. If given the choice. Absolutely. The fact that there are people out there that want to stick to the, the human ones, I don't understand. It's like in, uh, is it Mass Effect where you can date the big, the, like, the big hulky looking kind of alien, is it Garrus? Garrus? Is that his name? It might be. I don't know. Never played it. Mass when you affect it? I don't know, I never played it. Alright. I wish you could see my hands, because I'm vibing out. All right. Two different style things. Garrus is the cat man with the deep morning radio voice. That's a, no. no wonder. No wonder people were interested. I think people I've seen people say cat. I mean Yeah. More like a bearded dragon kind of dude. There's cats and bearded dragons are the same. They are the same animal. There is no difference. One of them has well, one of them has fluffy fur, and the other one has spiky fur. <laughs> he do got the he do got the He got the I got the the little kitty mouth. Kinda turtly. He is turtly! That's what I remember him being more like. It's just being very, like, turtle built. I kinda wanna watch- I wanna snack and watch food videos. And I was gonna say, hey, y'all wanna pause from this and watch some food videos? But I just realized I can do whatever I want. You love Mass Effect fleshy cat man. Oh, I should save my file. You want a snack? Get me snack. Snack. Okay, I will BRB, grab a snack really quickly and figure out how to stream some snack videos and we can snack together. Yum yum yum. Should be fun. I will not crunch very loud, I promise.
I'm back. Dinosaurs, we're back. I have my snack. It's popcorn. And I'm gonna watch some snack videos. We can watch this first, though. Oh, wait. Let me turn the music off. One more, one more. Will a week from today do? Okay, okay. Food sounds. Let's see. Cheapest instant noodle. One cent a bowl. I'm gonna move this so I can see my face. It froze. Why is it frozen? Why is it frozen for me? Hello? I don't need to watch picture in picture Firefox, it's fine. There we go. That's so much noodle! A very good deal. Mmm, chicken flavor. I kind of want to try it. Like, how good could ramen that cheap be? But, like, it's probably fine. Electric pot? Where do I get one of those? That's like the cutest little camping stove I've ever seen. Does it have a dancing bacon's, like, bacon on it? Did he put a sticker on the side of it? Or did it just look like that? Oh! Hello, Waldebeck, you arrived with a quest? Oh! You reminded me. I'm not doing art right now, so I should change my thing to just chatting. Let me pause real quick. I'll just say snack time. What is your quest, though? I'm curious. you your only joke. TOS friendly. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. We love jokes here. We're all clowns. <laughs> 